What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Tom and I like to fish. I'm located in Saskatchewan, Canada. I do fishing contents, gear review, and uh, anything fishing related. So uh, today we're not going fishing, but uh, as you can see, I got myself a new camera. So last year, if you saw the late eyes video that I did, I filmed with a 360 self-turning camera, which is great. But I was so disappointed with the image quality in the recorded file. I don't think it was even SD, like standard um, definition. So this year, I got myself an HD camera. This is actually new for 2022, AquaView HD 7i 125. So this camera is HD and it has 125 feet of cable, which is probably way more than enough cable that I need. So in this video, I'm going to unbox uh, this machine for the first time. And later of the video, I'm gonna try to record footage with the Avery Media 2 Plus video recorder. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so before I open it, the first thing I notice about the box this year is it's blue. Normally, AquaView is yellow, right? And if you see the buttons right there, they're also blue. Must be a trend. I watched another unboxing video of the HT10i. That's also blue for this year. So maybe the newer generations are blue colors. So let's open it up. There we go. Okay, we got a message here. You can pause the video if you want to read it. Don't think it's important. All right, we got two compartments. Accessories and closed. Let's open it up. There's a warranty card. You can register your unit on Akaview.com. I think I'll be doing that. And then what do we have here? Looks like a soft carrying bag. Just gonna pop it up. Okay, it feels nice. Well, I'll definitely be using this. Looks like we got a car charger, cigarette plug-ins here. Charge the unit on your car. And what does it say? Power supply. Okay, it looks like the wall charger. It's a 12 volt charger, pretty standard. It looks like we got a manual. I don't need to read that. I'll probably need it at some point in time. And that's it, that's the box. All right, so here's the camera right here. It is nicely packed. It's a really good job on packing to prevent any damage during shipping. And there it is. It's Crack it open. Okay, put these two on the side. Okay, there we go. Wow, you can smell that. <laughs> and um, first impression, this thing is heavy. Okay, but it looks really nice. All right. How can I open it? What the heck? Huh. Uh, I'm having issue opening the screen. That's interesting. I am having a hard time trying to open up the screen. Like, you would think it's right here. You just pull on it. Would you look at this mess? I had to unscrew over here and there to get the hood open. Such a pain. Took me about 20 minutes to figure it out, but uh, it shouldn't be this difficult. I'll cover you, come on guys. Okay, so there is a critical problem with this camera. I couldn't even open the lid to see the screen. 
So just to demonstrate the problem, okay? It came closed. So when I try to open it, it's just so tight that I, I just can't. I can't open it. But now, let me see. Now I can because, I'll show you. You see there's two holes right there? When you close the lid, at the, on the same position there's two butts, all right? So they designed them to be super sharp. So when you close the lid, there's no way to open them back up. So what I did here, I have a nail polisher. Just rub it on the, the two points and make it, uh, make it not so pointy, right? To the point I almost shaved them flat. Okay, it's closed. I can at least open it. I'll probably shave it more to make it much easier. If you have the same problem, that is a legit fix. So this is a really bad part on AccuView. Like you can't even open up the camera. How do you use it, right? Okay, there we go. Not as easy. 20 minutes later, after all that hassle, we can finally open up the screen. <laughs> there we go. It's got a screen protector. Important for maximum battery performance, charge system every two months. Register now. I'll do that. Doesn't that sound nice, hey? So this is a seven inch screen. It's a 1080p resolution, 60 FPS. The buttons are blue for this year. So on each side of the monitor, there's a nut to tighten the monitor so you can uh, oh that's that's too bad so you can adjust your position here so one thing nice about this camera is the the camera head right here is nicely secured it's not gonna move around uh, slam into anything secured by this blue button so if you press it here your camera head slides out I've used uh, AquaView's camera before. It was a 715C uh, camera. It was a standard definition. I sold it. But uh, the way the camera is positioned is the same. So if you don't hook it onto any of these uh, tracks, the camera is going to be pointing straight down. So for my taste, um, I like to have it either 90 degree or 45 degree pointing downwards. I think that would be my best, my favorite uh, position. One difference I noticed uh, between the 715 and the HD7i is the cable quality is much better. Um, I used to get a scratch on the cable for just, you know, inserting in the track. Uh, I had to put duct tapes around the cable to protect it, but it seems like this cable is high quality right there. And another feature I noticed here on the cable is actually marked with depth. So right there, that's one feet, that's three feet. So for every foot of depth, there's four, see? It is marked on the cable. So you can literally drop your camera down. When it hits the bottom, you read the number on your line, you can get your uh, depths. Very handy. Although I'll probably use my uh, sonar to determine that. They yeah, are very happy with the cable quality. I think it's gonna last a while. And by the way, there's uh, uh, lighting on the bottom of the camera. If you uh, fish in dark condition, it does help with that. But you know, our Saskatchewan, especially Southern Saskatchewan lakes, we have muddy water. There's uh, lots of uh, nutrient stuff in the water. It doesn't work with the lighting. So I believe it does have a night mode. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. All right, so let's, Turn on the unit. There we go. Aquaview. From what I can see, this is uh, definitely HD. That is pretty good image. Like if you look at the edges, pretty clear. I'm just gonna film myself here. Yeah, that is pretty good image right there. All right, so we got a few buttons here. Um, I see there's a zoom. Oh, oops. Yeah, it just zooms in. Let me 
Let me see if it's touch screen. No, it's not. Check the menu. Right, so one thing I noticed here, the OSD is uh, not available. So what it is, is um, on the uh, Pro version, let's say the HD7i Pro, it has on-screen display of temperature, depths, and uh, direction like north, south, west, east. But on the HD7i model, it is not available. So there is a difference there. So from what I can see right now, this screen is actually bright, like brighter than the 715C uh, model. Uh, according to AquaView, this screen is the same as the yellow version of the HD7i Pro model, which has, I believe, 2200 nits of screen brightness. And this unit has the same battery. It's a nine amp hour, 12 volt battery. And uh, they claim that on power saving mode, you can run for six hours. Actually, this unit is pretty much a HD7i Pro, except that it doesn't have the on-screen OSD display. All right, I forgot the IR button. This is the infrared uh, when you're fishing in low light condition. And uh, you can adjust the uh, magnitude. You can go plus, minus. Yeah, this really helps in uh, low light condition. When the sun goes down, that's when uh, the walleye bites, right? That's prime time. So hopefully this will help me capture those uh, bites for you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So keep in mind that this AquaView unit does not have a self uh, internal recording function. So you'll need to get a third party video capturing device. And this is no secret on the internet, the Aver Media 2 Plus. So this is basically a HD uh, up to 4K video recording device that uses HDMI connection. And uh, I'll leave an Amazon link in the video description if you wanna go check it out. So let me show you how to record your AquaView HD footage with the Aver Media. So first of all, you'll need the Aver Media machine. It comes with two HDMI cords and then a USB 2 for power supply. You'll need a micro SD card and you'll need a power supply. This is a power bank, happens to be Anchor. Very popular brand again on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below in the description. So first thing first, insert your micro SD card. And on the front, make sure it slides in the middle position right here, where it says micro SD. Plug in your USB cord to the power bank and on the other end into your power bank. Okay. There we go. It's gonna show red. And then plug in your HDMI cord into the in, video in port. So on the back of your AquaView unit, there's HDMI port. Plug the HDMI cord in. Okay, there we go, it's in. Let me turn it around. Okay, power on the unit. Press once to start recording. So you're gonna see the unit glowing red. That means it's recording now. Now to stop recording, you press it again. There we go. That's your first file. The file format is in MOV, so that is compatible to most editing software. And you just press it again to start your second file. Now on the second file, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna turn off the light. All right, still blinking. That means we're still recording. Now I am in pitch black. Don't know how that footage is picking up. You can still see myself. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the IR up. Ooh. Oh yeah. Just to show you how it looks like in dark condition. I think it's gonna do real well. So that is how you record your HD footage with the Aver Media video recorder. All right guys, so there it is. There's my unboxing video of the new uh, AquaView HD 7i 125 underwater camera. So I'll definitely take this unit ice fishing this year. Uh, I just can't wait. It is the beginning of November. Maybe we'll still have one month left. Now comment down below if you recently bought this unit and you have issue 
opening up the screen cover because I it was a hard time for me. I'm very curious to see if they have any you know quality control issue. If you want to see the footage that I record with the underwater camera right here, uh, subscribe to my channel. And now speaking of subscribing, I'm very close to hitting 500 subscribers now. So to celebrate that, I will be doing a giveaway for the first time on my channel. There's a new ice reel for this season. I plan to do a review video and then do a giveaway. I'll give this guy away. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, T10 Outdoors. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one.